Hello, my name is Bill Wimsatt and I'm a principal with Wells Landers Group. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate an approach to business and enterprise architecture. Every enterprise operates on one of two simple principles. Either A, create profit and increase value to shareholders, or two, create a public benefit and provide services to citizens. To assure the principal mission is met requires careful planning and execution. I like to apply the DID principle. DID stands for Design, Decide, Inform, and Deploy. Design, sure that your business processes and infrastructure are appropriate to meet your business needs. Decide, make sure that you're applying the correct amount of investment for a certain amount of risk. Inform, make sure that the different stakeholders are communicated with and are part of the collaboration effort and deploy, operate, and execute the business. Planning through the use of an enterprise architecture and continual assessment through portfolio practices will ensure your business the best road to success. Let's start with looking at enterprise architecture. I'm going to use System Architect from IBM Rational. As the design platform, in the DID principle that I discussed a moment ago. System Architect provides a rich modeling environment and collaboration environment for the different stakeholders within the architecture community. Business process modeling, organizational modeling, motivational modeling, data modeling, network modeling are just some of the rich model techniques that are available within System Architect. Let's take a look at some of those different models that are available. One example might be a business function model. Business function models can be laid out in different ways. Here I've laid them out within different, within different services. And you can open up an item simply by double clicking it to get additional information. There's drop down boxes, textual information, and different tabs that are available for different types of information stored and managed for each of the objects within the, within the platform. A common item within an enterprise architecture is the data model. Different techniques, whether those are IDEF, whether that's Chen modeling, or other different ty types of modeling techniques are available within System Architect. Here's another, here's another data model using a different diagramming technique than we just saw a moment ago. Now as you're developing your different models, whether those are business process models, or organizational models or data models, they're not developed within a vacuum. You want to be able to collaborate a, a, amongst those models. System Architect allows you to combine those different items so, th so that you can have business processes, applications, and data pulled together within a single diagram. For example, in this particular diagram, I see business activities, I see application services, I see application components, all in one diagram and showing how they interact with each other. Using System Architect, you can define what your current enterprise architecture and business architecture is in its current state. You can also define what it's going to be in its future state. The trick that often comes up and which people have the most questions are is, how do I know which things I should bring to the future and how do I know how much to invest and where to invest within the enterprise architecture in order to maximize the investments and maximize the mission of the business. That's what I'm going to talk about next. I want to show how you can use system architect data and use portfolio, portfolio practices to assure that you have the best, pro best process and best practices in place to ensure a maximum architecture for future considerations.